Yo guys, Master Markov here, and welcome back to Dark Side Detective. So, today we're going to hop into the second case for Dark Side Detective, Tome Alone. Duly suggested a visit to the library. Must have seen a strange storm gathering over it. That would make some sense. Well, shoot! I see now why the storm might be a tad concerning. Jesus Christ. You have a super soaker? Okay. What's with the case, Dooley? Put me in. Case? No. I have some overdue books to drop back. Oh, no. That, I thought that was a super soaker in his hand. I don't know why. I thought that was a super soaker in his hand instead of just books. Jesus Christ. So that purple swirling vortex thing above the building has nothing to do with why we're here? Ah, come on now, detective. I'm hardly gonna arrest the weather. I think she'll try to justify this department. Let's get this over with. Yep. Yeah! Sure. Okay. Hmm. It's a library. What a helpful plaque! These statues make me uncomfortable. Not very welcoming. They should at least be reading a book or wearing glasses or something. Before this was the library, it was where the mayor kept his, her lion collection. Oh, right. That clears that up, so... You know, why don't they ever do that? That actually is a good idea. How many cases do we need to solve, do you think, to get a car that doesn't leak in the rain? It keeps us fresh, sharpie. Mm, I don't know about that. We'll be done, Jiffy Detective. If you say so. Let's head on in. Fines? For being late? How are books late? It's not like they have places to be. It's a good point, actually. You're not charming your way out of this, Patrick. Rules are rules. Can we come to some kind of agreement? Do you have any parking tickets you want to say go bye-bye? Gooly, are you trying to bribe your way out of a fine? No? Here's an arrangement for you. I'll drop your fines if you arrest that troublesome kid. Kid? The one who's responsible for the storm. And you know. The ghost. Ghost? What? <laughs> Excuse me? A silent sign. Shh. These brownouts seem like they've made for frustrating reading conditions. Hmm, strange. So we have the elevator here. Is this back outside? No, it's the office. Books. Is this your to read pile? Oh, I've read all of those. The desk is missing a leg, so I'm using them to balance out the computer. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. What were you saying about ghosts? This place is haunted, you know, the usual stuff. The usual? Flickering lights, floating books, strange noises, eerie purple storms. It's chasing off the readers. And you say a kid is to blame. He's the only one here often enough. Suspiciously often, if you ask me. I'll look into it. Do, or else I'll call a pair of oddball priests on and or a questionable ghost-busting startup to come fix this. This is not phasmophobia. What books did Dooley borrow? He had Rules to Rave 2, Roswell, New Mexico, where the aliens really experiment on us, and The Law, what it is and do we really need it? Hey, what happened to library reader privilege? Not a real thing, buddy. I take it you gave up on the law book? <laughs> Not enough pictures. Oh my god. Uh, what's that you're reading? Guy Light. Heartbreaking tale of a girl who falls in love with a reverse vampire. A reverse vampire? Wait, what is a reverse vampire? Can they not come out at night? They don't suck blood, so what does that mean? They eat garlic only? And... Instead of turning into bats, they just... I don't even know what the reverse of that is. Hold on. Of a what now? A reverse vampire. He can only come out during the day. I'm at the part where he are prom night, and he's promised to take her, but the clock went forward, and now it's at night. What happens if he goes out at night? He gets really, really sleepy. Sounds... Interesting? What? Sounds awful, detective. 
That's what I thought. <laughs> that does sound kind of crap. Need anything else? I'll be here. Unless I'm not. I guess it's the office. Let's see what's over here. Ooh, computer. Here seems to be broken. Of course it is. It's not broken. It's hollow. So they could store more books in it. Of course it would be. Never know when I'll need to cut something in half. Or a lazy approximation of half. You received item scissors. Ooh. Dooley, what do you gotta say? I really enjoy the access to secret areas this job gets us. Staff only? <laughs> Not on our watch. Jesus Christ, of course you would. Even the lamp is flickering. Well, makes sense. Calendar? I got this for Doris last time I get out of paying fees. Gonna have to give up the ante this time. Oh, have to up the ante. Oh, guy light? What the heck? Why is she gray? And he's not What the heck? October. Hmm. Of course it would be October. Photocopier. Old photocopier. Can't imagine this gets much use. Oh, it does. We renew your card each year. Doris takes a photocopy of your butt for the records. Everyone's butt? <laughs> Just mine. Now that I think about it. That's the price of working out, I guess. <laughs> of course. Jesus Christ. Roses are red, violets are blue. Your loaning rights are revoked due to books overdue. Jesus. Okay. Looks like some of these coats have been here for years. We should go through your pockets. You know, for evidence. Seat item button. Oh, great. That's all I get out of all of that? Sure. Hmm. I guess nothing else to check out here. I do still like the fact that silent sign is just like, shh, immediately. Librarian. No, 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 I didn't need to, I don't need the story of the reverse vampire again. Ugh. So wait, what would the reverse of Twilight be, actually, now that I think about it? What is the antithesis to Twilight? Dawn? But then what's... Uh, I don't even know. An old elevator? Where's the staircase? We have none. It was a fire, and ironically, a fire escape was the only thing that was destroyed. Okay. Horror? Of course. Ah, yes, this is exactly how that works. Oh, this goes wire up a normal button. Never mind this one. Yeah, but what if I do... Come on, Frankie, you could do better than that. You know, I just kind of wanted to see if that's how that worked. But, you know. So, first floor is where we're already at. So then, I guess we should go to the second floor. I do like sci-fi. Man, more flickering red lights. What do you got to say about this, Dooley? What about the rabbi and the priest talking... Talk about a library. I don't know. Nothing. Libraries are a place of quiet, respect, and solitude, which they are both respecting. You need to work on your stamp material. You know, I thought he was gonna say my what? Like after that, thinking it's not a joke. Don't blink. Seriously, Doctor Who reference? Well, you know I gotta start sci-fi fantasy. Ooh, rocket. I wanna be an astronaut when I was younger, until I found out they had to go into space. Looks like some kind of rocket's aluminum is coming off. It could be what? useful. Metal strip. I guess that's kind of good. We lived in medieval times. We'd be living the adventures of Ye Darkside Bailiff and Esquire Dooley. Hmm. Well, I suppose that's true. Glum Tales of the Sad Venturer. <laughs> of course. Jesus Christ. Library of Books. Dragon Ageism. <laughs> the Witcher Tales of an Indecisive Adventurer. Fantastic geese and where to find them. Wait a minute. This wasn't released before. This was released before Fantastic Beasts, wasn't it? Maybe not. Hmm. Dooley. I never understood this section. How can something be fiction and science? I don't know what you do with some... I don't know what to do with you sometimes. Give me a raise? <laughs> I don't think so. What a great name, eh? Yeah, funny looking drought pieces, though. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Library card. How convenient. I'd have expected to go through a series of semi-logical puzzles to get this. Old library card. I figured it'd be somewhere in, you know, those old pockets, honestly. Fantastic obit. Drowned in moonlight, strangled by her own bra. Doctor Whom's thrilling adventures through grammar and structure. Space hike. Boldly going to places safely explored by others. How to woo a Wookiee. <laughs> Mass defect. They came from space. They were brains. Brains from space. <laughs> space brains. Okay. All right. All right. That's a bit. Blasters. 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 And other space weapons. Intergalactic ballistics for cats. Astro trolls. Hmm. 
Man. This is hilarious. I gotta say, I do love this game and how it's going already. Uh, nothing else over here. Let's head to the kids section. Oh! Uh, you know, I knew they said there was a kid here, but I didn't expect them to be in the kids section. I kinda was expecting them to be in horror section. Hmm. Little Devin, huh? What about this one? The words are short, and I think I could read the whole book from one cover to the other cover. Not even gonna have the bear's face there? Oh, is this suitable for my age range? I read a book about books for my age range, and they're all books about boys and wizards and talking dogs. Okay, I'll try it. Hope I like it because I've read all the books about boys and wizards and talking dogs in here. Well, okay then. Hey, look, it's Barney, but with a new coat of paint. Dust is wrong under this. Makes me think it was moved recently. Well, then why don't we move it? I don't know. Should I scissor the dinosaur? Let's call that plan B. You know what? That's true. I'd rather try something else first. Sure. Viewmaster. Come on, Frankie. We could do better than that. What do you mean? What? I'm just trying to look at it. Viewmaster. I love those as a kid. I'll take this and see if I can find a use. S times like these that I miss walking the beat. Viewmaster. Cold draft from the vent. That can't be good for kids' health. Hmm. Bad baby incites a riot. <laughs> Kindergarten Kate summons the devil. Grumpy Chris hates to play. Learn to count to 107. Largest number known to science. A guide to baby safe shots. Daddy's little disappointment. Oh my god. Floating boat? Oh. You know, why didn't I? I thought that was like a pick up item for some reason. Thinking like, oh yeah, normal video game stuff. And then I'm like, wait, that book is just floating. Well, that's not right. Neat trick. What magic book did you learn that from, kid? Not magic, it's... Nothing. Sure. Look familiar. Have I arrested you before? Hmm. Okay. Letters. A, B, C. As easy as four, five, six. Uh... I don't know about that one. Hope I get to have a pet robot someday. Too many responsibilities. Feeding it, rubbing its belly, teaching it to overthrow humanity. Why would I teach you that? I want to be their good side when the inevitable happens. Ooh, train. I've always loved trains and trams. Not monorails, though. I think they're better than everyone else because they're up in the air. I wouldn't be too sure about saying I like trains out loud. I've seen what happens on the internet with that. Why your parents don't love... Jesus Christ! Anne and Barry face financial ruin. Little and Big Pooh save the day. Maybe it's... Maybe it is your fault. Little Billy and the Crush Dreams. Baby's first hangover. <laughs> Why your parents don't... Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Some of these are kind of messed up. So what do you have to say? Who are you talking to, kid? I'm not telling you anything. I've heard what happens to people who do a snitch. Modern media is really making our job hard. Oh, so we, we just ain't even gonna talk to him. Okay. Well, I guess we ought to head to... Wait, what the heck? Of course, I should probably use this. Old film viewing toy. Well, I suppose I should probably drag this to me. I need to find some film to put in first. Oh. What if I put this metal strip in? Okay, nope, guess not. Alright. Hmm. Well, if I cut the library card? I'd rather try something else first. Alright, guess not. Let's go to the reading room. Hmm. Professor Theodore Library. Inventor of the library. Nope, not one word of that is true. <laughs> Alright, kind of expected that. Hmm, reading room or the hobby DIY. Let's go to the hobby section. How to do DIY yourself. Really good at DIY. I got my sister to do it for me. Of course. This one's called Building Mediocre Mysteries by the Spooky Doorway Team. Whoever they be. Why does that... <laughs> is that the development team? Oh my god. DIY. Because you're too broke to pay someone else to do it. Damn straight. So your government is broken. By Sequir Pharaoh. Oh my god. You know, this would be good for last year. Actually, this is good right now. The definitive guide to landscaping. From outside to downstairs. True. How did... Oh, it's just really gonna be that over again. Alright, I was expecting a bit more. Why are these fakes? Well, you can't have kids playing over painting over books. 
True, true. Glue? Somebody seems to have left glue here. No duct tape, but could be useful. Hmm, wait a minute. These are printouts of children's art. Look out, Mr. Moneybags, in his deep pockets. Rich enough that he could pay child artists for original works, this guy. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Looks like he's jumping. You jump too if somebody shoved a pole up your behind. <laughs> That's true. I think that is pretty true. Turning duct tape into pants. Make your nether sustainable. Things you can fill jam jars with. Volume 3. Whittling dice out of larger dice. Detective. The inspection... Oh, the inspectioning, investigative, role-playing in the world of Darkseid. Hard wood, and where to find it. Turning... Okay. Well, as fun as it is to stay in this room, let's head over to the reading room, see if I can find more clues. Oh, hello, miss. I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. Oh, hello. My name's Roxa. I'm here to study the strange going-ons. I guess that's why you're here too, detective. Oh, uh, sure, that's me. Always investigating stuff. On purpose. That's me, alright. Want to share what you found? You know, to compare notes. To be sure that you found the same right stuff as I found, of course. For no particular reason. I just gotta be sure that you're heading in the right direction. Yeah, that's it. Well, it's not much, but it seems to be a strange con concentration of energy in the next room. I'm searching the internet for a way to be able to see whatever it actually is. That would be a good start, wouldn't it? Well, let me know if you find anything. Hmm... Clock? Time always seems to stand still in boring places like libraries. Hmm... Your books. Hope there's nothing contraband in this pile. I wish... That... You, you know what I mean. Sure... Hmm... There's a neat chalk in the 21st century. Most people? A fair point. Yeah, it's true. With notes and everything. You look uncomfortable, Dooley. It's this whole reading room thing. I mean, should we be reading right now? Can I not read anywhere else? Does the room itself read? And if so, what does it read? You have a special mind, Dooley. Chief Scully says that's why she assigned me to your department. Yeah, that makes some sense. So what do you gotta say? So ghost hunting, eh, hey, detective? Uh, that's classified. Because there's a whole bunch of eerie mumbo-jumbo going on here. So you notice then, eh? Huh? I'm majoring in the occult at TLU. Where are we that are saying TL? Where would TL be? I never bother to think about where we're actually at. You could do that? I thought all this stuff was banned. Somebody has to catalog and ban it all, detective. Right. It's all fairly hush-hush. So what is one study with occultism? Whatever you want. I went to computer science, so I just wouldn't be studying two impractical subjects. Good call, Roxa. From my experience, I can tell you that the occult doesn't pay much. Alright, well, microfilm room, I guess. Good place to find the film to put in here. Hmm, pretty energy. Like Roxa said, I think it may be a clue. Possibly. There's too much here to take. My pockets have their limits. Alright, filing cabinet. Why would anyone have so many filings that they need a cabinet to store them in? It's broken. If you want to look at a microfilm, I need to find another way to do so. Well, I could do that. See what we can find online. Ah, 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 didn't say the magic word. Looks like you need to figure out the password. What's on this? library card is some smug-faced Paul Conway. Can I use it on the computer? Okay, I guess I can't. Can I give it to myself? Let's call that plan B. All right, fine, fine, fine. Film's too big, square peg, round hole situation. God dang it, okay, fine. Well, I'll destroy some historical material. Let's hope there's a good point to this. And then, well, it fits. Look at what I didn't accidentally chop off. Twin Lakes recent history. Oh, we're in Twin Lakes, I see. Spider moths, do it again. Excuse me, what? Do it again, sounds like they were in some kind of winning streak. Instead of having burnt down yet another stadium. <laughs> Major staff cuts at City Library? Budgetary cutbacks have seen the local library reduced to a skeleton staff. I know, Doris is old, but that seems a bit unfair. Means very few people work here. Oh, yep, just Doris now. And she's actually a retired volunteer. Tough times. 
computer stock goes up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Oh my god. Alright, fine, fine. I like the Konami code thing you did there. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Wait, is it B, A, B, A start? Or is it just B, A start? I always forget. I shouldn't have read that out loud. I think I may have just summoned something. <laughs> Crackpot Detective claims teenagers tags were ritual mean to sh meant to show the dead that walk among us. Okay. I remember this, Kate. What the? Um, hello? Who are you and how did you get here? I am that which can never be unseen. Ooze from your nightmares the know of unknown. Right. Not very helpful, if I'm being honest. Help is there for those that know how to take it. Okay then, I'll bite. Tell me. Oh, knower of the unknown. What's going on here? I, uh, don't rightly know. Right. But I do know that the core coward Yeats is protecting a hidden room. One that holds vast power and treasures. No doubt, that which is responsible for the spectral summoning of myself and the others alive within the others the others detective who are you talking to i'm talking to you know what i don't even know how to explain this um <laughs> let's call that play oh what was all that again eat secret room mad power within be cool bro we're cool okay um secret room mad power within you know, you master. Who are you talking to? Actually, we both know it's best if we don't try to explain. As you were, detective, nut job. I guess we'll leave the reading room. Oh, Yeats. WB Yeats. Pray, sir, a moment of your time. Another one? Another, ah, uh, another spirit. Yes. And with your question, you have answered my own. Huh? Forgive me, but I wish to know if you have seen on your travels that scoundrel Crowley. Forcefully mysterious man in the silly hat? The very same. I know he lurked here, but somewhere. You mentioned a hidden room. Yes, but on the matter I shall say no more, not until the beast is gone. I just wanted not a word more, sir, not a word. Yeah, you gotta go. I met your friend. Says you won't stop spying on him. I find it most joyous to torment the man. He says you went into that room you mentioned. I do. I'm most bored here. Need something to do, something to read. Why not use the computer to go online? Two words. Safe search. All right. Maybe yeah, I can find some kind of workaround. Please, just stay here and don't do anything. Hmm. You would know. Mention you're looking for stuff on the internet. How would you get past the blocks? Up to something naughty, detective? Me? No. But I have this friend who needs to get past the library firewall. That's quite well protected, spies in me. I think Doris was worried someone would hack into steal her unpublished fanfiction. I figured out that and passed it so I could bypass the block. Want to give it to you so you can use it too? Please. You received admin password. Well, what do you know? Let's see what we can find online. Enter password. Looks like you need to figure out the pep. What? Is it one, two, three, four? I probably should be able to browse for hard's content. I'll let him know. Okay. I've set it up so you should be able to browse whatever you want, no restrictions. You know, even the secret stuff, you know. <laughs> like two puppies playing, yeah. All the good stuff, all the cat videos, everything the world has to offer. All the memes. Excellent. You, uh, man, I want to stick around for this. Right. I'll leave you your business, so... Shut the door on the way out. Jesus Christ. Okay! Did I sense? Yes, the beast eyes were focused elsewhere. There's clear now. <laughs> Wait a minute, clear? Because he wasn't looking at you? Well, clear is maybe not the term I'd use. Come again, sir? Never mind. I just don't go into that room if you could avoid it. As you suggest, sir. Now, what's all this about a hidden room? I'll share what I can. Place behind. There's a place hidden behind the horror section on the fourth floor. Those are the phantasmic pollution afflicting this building is within. 
How do I get in? One of the books in the L section is a lever. Pull it and fix this. Godspeed, then. Get that dually? Or what? Oh yes, of course. We need to get to the fourth floor. Open the secret room using one of the books in the L section. Wait, how do you know all this? Intuition? What's the L section? Is it this? Hello? But again, what the heck is the L section? You and Arthur too. I don't recognize you. I. But not a young toss with a literary fiction. I wrote useful stuff like how's wiring and how to do your own plumbing. I uh, think you can fix the elevator. With the right gear, could I? And your new button, mine. Sure. What's all this for? Is this button to fix the elevator? I can, but won't do nothing. It needs to be conductive to make circuit work. This should make the button conductive. Conductive button? Jesus Christ. Could this button replace a broken worm elevator? Let me see, let me see. Looks like it'll do the job. Just a few minutes pop in, please. Oh, good lord. Okay, sure. Thanks for fixing the elevator, Gail. Happy to help. Bit for fun, summit useful gain. Guess we're on the fourth floor. Oh, look. Doris must have finally fixed the elevator button. No, it was. Uh, never mind. Oof. Looks like you can get to the roof through here. Thankfully, it's locked. Why not go back out into that storm? Collection of books that don't seem to fit anywhere else in the library, like How to Cook a Dinosaur, if you ever catch one. The Internet and Other Fads, Architecture of the Mind, and MMO Account. Let's see. Be the fictional banker you always need. Oh my god. Alright, well, I guess we're going to horror. Jesus Christ. That's one other view of the city. Can't say anything through this viewmaster. I'll tell anyone if you want to take it off. I will, but just not yet. You barely... Edgar Allan Poe? I don't know how to do that accent of Edgar Allan Poe! You barely made teenage girls whimper, Howie. Oh, H.P. Lovecraft! Jesus Christ! Only because they can't fathom the dread I conjure already. You play on common cliches. Your penny dreadfuls lack true horror. At best, spooky pulp. Your best works aren't even written by you, charlatan, fraud, undead trickster. You feel that way? Then why did you hide my work, Eddie? Again, I say I do not have your book. You probably hid it because it was too scary for you. Ugh, infuriating man. You know what? Honestly, I kind of solved this a bit too soon. Where are the other ghosts? Right now, I kind of want to see who else is here. Oh, hey, big fan of your work. Thanks. No, not you. Oh. Cratchit? Adams. Where are detective books? Wonderful over the top. Okay. Uh, not going to be able to actually talk to anybody. I think you should read this one. I read this one and thought it was good. What's it about? Story about this kid who could see dead people. Oh, that's not for me. I'm scared of ghosts. Uh, here I find myself the company of a rather dreadful bunch. Rata is the lot of them. The kid? No, he's charming. I mean, the others. Occultists, horror writers, DIY fanatics, horrors, the lot of them. Do you see the ghost too, kiddo? Ghost? What nonsense you're filling his head with, detective? I see them. They're my friends. Well, this one is. Some of them are less friendly. But I think I like them because before they became places were empty. Just me and Doris, and she's only interested in reading the modest, mostest, dreadfulest books ever written. What the heck is up with that? Hmm. Let's see what's in reception. Uh, anything in here? Nope. Okay, I was kind of expecting a ghost down here. It would be kind of funny to see her freak out. What is this glue going to be used for, though? That's a good question. Uh, dead person murders. Oh, hold on. From axes to zero oxygen and murder's primer, he's behind you. Animal. Wait, why would that be an A B? Animal alonement. Steve Dunks. The ankle biters. Bemoners from beyond the grave. Alibi soup. The butler did it. Oh my god. Calvin ate a cop. Did you kill them? I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you too. You were out last time. <laughs> Very dark places. An illustrated guide. Oh my. It'd just be darkness. Compendium of inept deaths. They're not the scary sounding of books, are they? I think I might have had an accident. <laughs> the dead person murders. Oh my god. 
Everyone's guilty. The fast car killers. The followers. Erroneous castrations? What the heck? The diary of Elvin Snokes, the girl who chokes. Everyone's guilty. Is that a Star Wars reference? Everyone's guilty. Uh, let's see. Haunted place. Instead of a... F Wait, what was it actually? Not the sunken place. Oh, why, why am I, why am I forgetting the actual thing? They've gone to buy poison? Gas? <laughs> Imagine books are called gas. How they all died. Good as me, he's dead. Henry Ham... <laughs> Henry Hamfist? What is this, like, freaking Spider-Man? The Punch to Death Champion of 1934, a biography. Oh man, okay, sure. It kills. Just quit. Shuggular wounds. An illustrated story. Guy journaling your own death. I touched his face. Jobs you're not good enough for. Okay. I want to just see all the rest. Murder. Ninja zombies and other terrible crossovers. Morals? No thanks. Never look in the fridge. Bad man kills a person. No, don't do it. Nanny nightmare. Map to murder. The Pain Giver. Man, these are great lines, I gotta say. Places to die in. Places to not die in. The Origami Massacres. Oh, man. The Quirky Killings. The Rash. That wouldn't clear. Coming soon to theaters near you. Quickly hide. The Revenger. Quay 666. The Quirky... Oh, man. Stab Fest. Six. Everywhere. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Tomorrow, the world implodes. Scary book, volume four. Is that supposed to be a scary movie reference? The Trundling, Stab, oh shoot. It'd be funny if it was just all stab fest. The Underwhelmer, Vivian's Hatchet, Best Revenge. Where's Waldo's body? I don't know why I'm announcing this like I'm a Smash Brothers introducer. Oh God, Vanity Kills, the, uh, they yearn for blood. X marks the victim. Unzip the body bag. The yogurt. That drowning. Zesty recipes for evidence disposal. They are. Well, I mean, I don't want to check this out yet because I know it's going to pull the lever and then it's going to end it. Let's check out what Poe and <laughs> HP Lovecraft are talking about. What's going on here? Didn't take this plastic book. It was that childish blighting woman. Why don't you tell him that? Do not listen to me. He's convinced I hit it the more people borrow my books over this. Nonsense. I don't care for his current zeitgeist. My works are vastly superior. I don't know. I gotta say, of scary stuff, Poe is more articulate, while Lovecraft definitely feels a lot more horror in the type of unknown eldritch ancient gods horror that really is um impending doom where you feel helpless in comparison to something like you know jason where it's just like well he's a dude that like is really strong that would maybe hit you and slash and stab you but you could probably just put in a box i mean he was in prison he's being such a child i'm clearly the greater horror writer Tore apart the minds of generation with my atheistic horror. Your atheistic rubbish. Right, I'll have you, mate. I'm gonna have you, you sickly twerp. You two, stop it, or I'll put you both in some kind of supernatural slammer. He started it. Oh, I right, never. It was you and your. I don't care who started it. I'm putting a stop to it. Wait right here. And not a peep. Okay, I guess let's go down to. Reception? Is she... Does she have the book? Was the window over to the roof locked? For health and safety reasons. Can I get the key? Afraid not. Why? For the health and safety reasons. Alright, um, this didn't have it. It was in the reading section, right? I assume. No, no, sorry, wrong one. Wait, sorry, wrong... Wait, actually, is, is it here? No, no, no. Okay, it was down. Back to the children's section. You, excuse me, did you steal Lovecraft's book? 
He and Ned Pofell won't stop fighting over which one is the more frightful book. He took his books and hoped it would stop their arguing. It seems to have made it worse. Well, I shan't give it back until they stop their silly bickering. I sh- How am I meant to stop those two fighting? That's not my concern. You want this book to stop their fight. Uh, there's gotta be a scarier book than theirs around here. Surely you could stop their bickering. Scarier book, huh? Well, that's why this is moving. What a great game, huh? Yeah, funny looking draw pieces, though. So that's why they're- oh, I didn't even notice that before. Hmm. Scarier book, huh? Oh, <gasps> of course! You. I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. Your library card to borrow books. Can I sign up for one? Uh, no. Too busy reading these books. Saws. Dolly, can I use your card? So it's fine, Sonny. Bet you wish you'd make a deal now, huh? Yeah, you know, I could just circumvent. I'd like to borrow the book you're reading. Like this one? Like, yeah. Oh, good. But not this one. It's not yours. Not even your face on it. Uh, just let me in. Alright. So obviously, we photocopy our face. Ah, photocopy of myself with some blue and then sticky photo and then old library card. Gonna be the least convincing fake ID I've seen in all my years of cop. Fake library. Oh my god, look at how fake that looks. Well, I would like to borrow that book you're reading. Well, here you go, Paul. Paul? His name is... My name is Paul. Like it says in the card. My card. Paul, Paul, Paul. Sleep trashy novel. Hey, well, what do you know? Alright, you wanna see something scary? Have the- Is that a banana? Michael Stephenson's reverse vampire novel, Guidelight. Even holding it makes me ill. Okay, strange. Is this my book? No, it's not. What is this? Most horrific novel ever written. It's not even written by either of you. Let me see that. Teenage girl, blah, 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 reverse vampire, blah, 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 love story. It sounds terrifying. Your existence gives me shivers. You agree it's more horrific than your works. Will you stop squabbling? Agreed? Agreed. We believe something so hideous exists. We are so popular. Stoker must be turning his grave. Hope the poor chap doesn't know. Well, they're gone now. Back to find the book that opens the li of course, right. I gotta go get the book. Handle? What a hell of an atmospheric fire hazard. Hmm. Creepy bookshelf. I'm not shocked to find there's something nasty beside this. Just need to figure out a way to open it. Oh, so I can't actually open it. I didn't realize. Wait, what does he say? Never been up here before. Cause a broken elevator? Cause scary up here. True, true that, true that. Anyways, um, I'm gonna take a guess. It's probably this book. Got to agree on the scariest book. Can I have that novel now? Good. I daren't see why you wouldn't want this vile thing. I promise. Here. Lovecraft Owl. Oh, I ruined the kid's illusion, detective. Don't worry. I'll be back. Now let's see what else is in this section. Books Yeast Mace mentioned is missing. I don't know if you're a fan of Lovecraft. Hmm? Looking at the Lovecraft section. A bit too godless for my taste. Lovecraft novel, you say. Hmm? Alright. I wanted to see if there were any funny books, though, but sure. Here goes nothing. Seems to fit in a curious clicking noise. Right. Let's pull this and. Uh, what do you know? In room meets and Crowley we're talking about. Creepy doors are a recurring motif, if I'm not too all fond of. Let me guess, staying here to cover me again. You got it this one. You got it in one, detective. Try to avoid getting knocked out this time. I swear, oh my god. What the, what is all this? Magicka? Alistair Crowley's guide to popular wizard game? Oh my god. The Gnostic guide to ghouls and ghosts? Rituals for modern rituals. These are all contraband occult books. Quite a nasty treasure trove. Why didn't I know about this stuff? Um. Specifically for the reason of you wouldn't want to expose wiring. Great ritual book. What strange thing to find here? Necronomicon. Cyclopean. Oh, I didn't even finish reading that. One of your one ways to get ritual stains out of your carpet. Brief history of time magic. The art of pentagram drawing. Guide for syncing your coven with the moon. Necronomicon. A cyclopedian cookbook. Oh, cyclopean cookbook. 
All right, so what the heck are we supposed to be doing here? Those wiring. Those loose wires seem to run out to the roof. Copy of Risley's cast it or not. Really? Believe in it? Ripley's believe it or not? Uh, it seems to be one of the open summon spirits page. Maybe if I close it, the whole mess will sort itself out. Ouch. It seems to be charged by the faulty wiring. I wonder where it goes. Normal library fair this is. Of course. Let's call that plan B. No, I want to see. Period of tables of secret and magic elements. Bumper catalog of magical components? This one's just squiggles. Can't make anything useful out here. Been of guide to demon identification? Lovin', your coven. Cultists for nuns. <laughs> what the heck? Crawl space. Small hole. I don't fit. But maybe you could drop something down and see where it lands. Hmm. But what if I put the skull... Let's call it... Oh, I kind of wanted to see what would happen. Hope this works. I'm gonna find where that landed. Hopefully without having caused any damage. So what are you doing here? Mary Shelley? Frankenstein author? Like a moth to a flame, I'm drawn to the eldritch mm, energies emitted from this book. Ah. I like spooky books and electricity. I even lit candles up to the spook factor. Okay. So what are you doing here? Oh. Alright. Um. Can I still take that? Nope. I guess not. Hmm. Well then. I think I hate my job. Alright. Where the heck do you think that would have went? Reading room? Where's this skull at? Oh, right. Um, don't want to go in there. Forgot about that. Not there. Okay. It's probably in the back room of reception. What? She's gone. Why is she gone? Where'd she go? Unraveled a mummy mommy romance. Working ghoul office temp by day, flushing grave dweller by night. Which witch a coven. Coventus Love Triangle? Are you fond of owning books suspicious? Uh, it is. What kind of secret stuff are you reading that you can't get it from your local library? Maybe people like having their own books. Maybe it's a germ issue. Germs really will believe anything in Hollywood tells you. Jesus Christ. Uh, not the time, man. For a certain angle, it looks like Dooley has crazy hair. <laughs> Silence? La 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 la. I'm the law here, not you. Don't you forget it, sign. So where did she go? I guess I, of course, gotta go check here. Nothing here. Children's section? Oh, well, hello there. What is all this noise? I can't hear myself read. So, kid, what do you know about the other side of that vent? I, I didn't mean to do it. Do what? I was so lonely, I went exploring. Found all these neat new books. But the one I read was scary, and I ran off. The ghosts arrive. Probably like them, because now I have friends. See? He meant no harm. I will make her arrest him, breaking and entering into your room of illegal books. Let's say both set of charges cancel each other out. Only if I will get rid of the ghost and find him elsewhere to go once in a while. You can join the Blood Wolves? Blood Wolves? Mayor stopped paying the dib 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 tax, so uh, we had a change from scouts. You okay with that kid? Sure. That's great. But back to the task at hand. We need to stop energy flowing into the building and into that book. You get the lightning conductor on the roof. Here, have the key. Dooley, we're going to the roof. It's raining outside. Roof key. What do you got to say for this? On. Oh, what? You dropped a skull on me. Brew you. Pay for this. I'll, I'll send goblins around to poke at your sleep. But Pixie steal your mail. I'll get brownies to, to to expellative on your lawn. Whoa, calm down, lady. In hindsight, that was dangerous. Thankfully, nobody got hurt. Blinder, that could have killed me. Except you're already dead. Police brutality, that's what this is? This wasn't here before. No, really? Anyways, up to... Was it the horror section? Yeah, it was. And then roof key. Here we go. I suppose we already ducked out one of the rooms in this case. I knew I'd played this card too soon. You did, buddy. You did. Get on up here. What are wiring from the secret room? Lisa least roof. Do I have anything to cut it with? Do you need me to go all the way up there? Scared of heights? No. Yes. Oh my god. 
junction box. So, what do I need to do? Get down as soon as possible? Looks like a circuit's connecting to the, the downstairs is aerial. I guess I should bring the circuit, the wire aerial to the lightning rod so the power has somewhere to go. Hmm. Oh god, it's a sliding puzzle! Jesus! Now I really hate this. Oh boy. There. That sucks! Ouch, my hand. Look, detective. Storm's dying out. Imagine that. Okay, should be able to close the book now. Go back down to the balcony. What do you gotta say? No time to talk. Need to close that book. Fine, fine, fine. It's not like anything's gonna happen if I don't. And let's close the book. So long, Mary Shelley, Alan Poe, Adams, H.P. Lovecraft, Blyton, Yates, Cronley, all those other people. All the Caspers that live here. Also, why are all those people here in this specific library anyways? Trunks filled, Sective. Though, I don't see why we had to take all those books. Duly, they're contraband. Heavy contraband. I wonder if I'll take it back to my house. Leave an agreement, then, Doris. If you don't find me for having the books, I don't sue the kid for ending the vault, I go back to business, sans haunting. You should also get that wiring fixed. Uh, fine. Come on, Dooley. Let's get back to the office. See, I can't, Mr. Dooley. See you there, Devin. Case closed. Another fine, successful day as the dark side detective.